Again, fast trucks. Jake Drew, Parker Klugerman right in front of Majeski. That's holding up this entire line here. And here comes Heim. Heim He's for the there. lead. Corey Heim inside of Christian Eckes. Side by side for the top spot. 11 on point at Bristol. Five to go. Lap traffic was what gave Heim that opportunity, and he pounced. White flag is out. Next flag will end the race. Corey Heim trying to bring it home at Bristol. He won the regular season championship. And he's going to have a chance to win the title at the end of the season as well. Corey Heim, a winner at Bristol, and he's going to the championship four. Boys, it ain't over till it's over. 50 laps in this race. Starts on the pole, wins both stages. But Heim takes the top spot with five to go. Lead six to the yeah, man. And Corey oh, Heim. Don't like your race truck, you win. Corey Heim will head to the desert in less than two months to run for a championship. And he goes to Talladega our next race. <laughs> just, just free as a bird. <laughs> How must that feel? <laughs> I mean, I don't care if you are Christian Eckes, second in the points, 29 ahead of the elimination line. You're worried right now. You just know what's next. That's Talladega. Corey Heim won Bristol to lock himself into the championship for two races early. And uh, now we are here at Phoenix, and uh, we're not going to do a 150 lap race. We, we got to change that. Don't worry. We, we will be changing it before we start. But we are going to try and get Corey Heim his very first NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series Championship. So let's get down to the track for qualifying. We've skipped practice and there are three rounds of qualifying that we have to get through. Hopefully we will be able to. So let's go. Coming to the line to start our championship qualifying a lap to see where we go. Hopefully we are able to advance out of the first round um, that would be pretty cool if we were able to do that but I kind of have a feeling that we might and we might not we're gonna get a 29 11 that's gonna put us first let's see how everybody else shaped out all right so this is how everybody shaped out pretty good actually I mean not that bad um we're gonna scroll down here and these are all the people that advance from Jesse Little uh, excuse me from Tate Fogelman all the way down to Clay Greenfield did not advance to a session at two unfortunately session three session two is about to get underway we actually had a truck beat us out of pit road um, for session two. Not that big of a deal. So how we are going to do this is we are going to do this the Macom Roots style. And the uh, top four is who, including myself, so technically it's going to be the top three, um, are going at whoever's in second, third, fourth, and fifth. will be our championship four and we're gonna add ourselves in to that mix so those three drivers plus us and see who gets the championship it looks like we're gonna be putting down a heater for this qualifying i'm probably gonna get a 28 okay a 28 75 a little bit slower than our first qualifying lap but everything is so far so good we are first on the board and uh we are feeling really good we're gonna make one more lap at it here uh, we have we do have two laps we're gonna move 
Timmy Hill up and out of the way. There, I think that's Timmy Hill anyway. That's not going to be a good lap for us. That was pretty much pointless. Let's see who advances to session three. And Finger gets a 29.65. Not bad. So Sheldon Creed qualified 13th. This is where everybody else uh, qualified out here. You guys already know these guys, but I figured I'd show them again. So that is looking pretty good. Now let's see the three other drivers that we are going up against for this championship. We are about to see who gets the pole in the next 30 seconds. Hopefully we have a good qualifying run. Kind of went up the track there just a little bit. Uh, not really what I wanted to do there. But it is what it is. We are fine and dandy. We're going to come out of three and four onto the front straight away. We're going to get a 2886. I'm pretty sure that's going to secure us. The pole position for this championship race. Let's see the other three drivers that we are going to go up against for a championship. So here we have it. Myself, Ben Rhodes, Stuart Friesen, and Johnny Sauter are the four driver, well, are the three drivers that we are going up against to win the 2023 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series Championship. Championship race is underway from Phoenix Raceway. Everything is going pretty good so far. I mean, we're only not even done with the first lap, but stage one is only 10 laps. Then we got stage two and the final stage, stage three. Hopefully we can school this field and put them in their place. We've got a fast Toyota Tundra TRD out here at Phoenix. We're going to get Tricon Garage, their first championship, as well as Corey Heim, his first NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series championship. Stuart Friesen has moved from third in the championship now to second. Ben Rhodes has fallen back, and Johnny Sauter, not sure where he went. I will actually be at this race on Friday, November 3rd. I want to say it's November 3rd. I think it's November 3rd. Um, I will be at the iRacing booth for up to probably like an hour and a half before the race, and then you can find me on Corey Himes at Pit Box. Um, it's where I will be watching the race from. So hopefully it's going good. Hopefully John Hunter Nemechek makes it and I think he will. Um, I'm recording this literally um, the Monday right after Bristol weekend. So pretty nice. Denny Hamlin got the win to advance to the round of 12. Which he was actually already clinched in any way man he could have win darlington and kansas but you know oh well he he had probably the best car for both of those races for all three of those races in the round of 16 but on to the um round of 12 for the nascar cup series and on to the championship for the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. I think we got Homestead and maybe one other track to go. And then we are good to go. Four laps to go in the first stage. And we are going to get into lap traffic. 
Stuart Friesen is going good and nobody else. Everybody else in the championship has fallen outside of the top five. Um, we are going to continue to lap the field here. Not really too surprised here that we're lapping the field like this. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. My day is pretty good. We're going to move John Hunter Nemechek out of the way. Your 2023 NASCAR Xfinity Series Championship. I called it before he was even announced that he was going to be driving for Joe Gibbs Racing. And uh, hopefully that statement is true. We will find out tomorrow. This thing, tires are wearing, that is for sure. Two laps to go now in stage one. Putting the pressure on everybody back here. Because they, they are getting lapped. Johnny Sauter, part of the championship four has been lapped not sure kind of how i feel about that um kind of sucks for him white flag is out for stage one hopefully everything goes well and uh, we don't have any issues here that would be actually quite fantastic if we didn't have any issues Gonna lap all the way up to 15th. Time Jeski. Gonna get there, and we are gonna win the first stage of this championship. Obviously, stage points do not win do not matter for this championship race. This is how the field is has turned out after the end of stage one. So if we run through the championship for Drivers, we are in first. Stuart Friesen is in second. Ben Rhodes is in third. And Johnny Sauter is way in the back. 23rd, a lap down. Fourth in championship standings. We are not going to pit. So let's get stage two underway. Green flag is out for stage two. 11 laps in stage two. We got Stuart Friesen right behind us there looking in the rear view mirror. This thing is getting tight. We're going to get up into the wall just a little bit there. Nothing too bad. Nothing that we can't handle. Getting really tight right now. Um, kind of sucks, but again, we are driving away from the field i did put a, a loose setup on this truck um i did do that put a loose setup on the truck to kind of you know make sure but i probably should have shouldn't have done that because man oh man are we getting it tight this thing is getting it looser and looser by the moment caution is out for what? I actually do not know. I don't know who is... Nobody's pitting, so I don't know what happened there, but the caution did wave. Green again. We got five laps to go, and... Uh, this truck is not going very well right now. We fall back to a fourth right now not very good for our championship hopes but you know what it is what it is we will be okay we will fight back on this outside maybe as we spin and crash no finally get a caution it's gonna put us ninth yikes not looking at good. Final stage is underway. We have a little bit of damage. 17 laps to go. Natalie Decker in the top 10. I don't know why that is a thing. But it is what it is. I don't have any Toyota teammates to really work with right now at the moment. Because my 
main Toyota teammate is fighting for a championship as well in the first place position already so I doubt we are going to be helping him at all we're going to go on the outside of Matt Crafton we're going to try and get it caution's going to wave and we are going to take advantage of this caution and we are going to pit there dropped us all the way back to 17th I want to say we are now third in championship standings as of right now we got less than 15 laps to go to try and get this championship for Corey Heim and Tricon Garage we're gonna go super try hard cheat mode here use that extra runoff space Kind of hide in behind Stuart Friesen here. Give him just a little push down the back stretch. We are inside of the man. We're going to get him loose just a little bit. Nothing too much. Fresh tires are working. We are just going to drive straight by... Stuart Friesen puts us first in the championship standings once again. This is amazing. Using all the shortcuts that Phoenix Raceway has to kind of make up time here. I can barely see them in my mirror back there. Gonna get right up real close next to that wall with... Coming to a 10 laps to go in this NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series race. We're going to use the dog leg and everything down here. Cut all the way out and up. Go through here. And we're going to cut all the way down here as well. <laughs> With less than 10 laps to go, we are feeling pretty strong. We're probably going to start lapping traffic soon. I would not be surprised if we did start to lap traffic but championship hopes are still alive right now going to six laps to go we are getting it tight and johnny Sauter goes another lap down he is not gonna contend for a championship well he's gonna finish fourth and the championship standings there's no way we got we just gotta try and not get this truck too much damage tires are uh you know doing their thing right there not bad at all though we're gonna let our toyota teammate kind of get down in front of us they're gonna give him a little bump there we're gonna pass our toyota teammate and we got less than five laps to go lapping people still hopefully we don't get a caution a late race caution right now would it be absolutely horrible for us old tires don't need that right now that's for sure toyota teammate of riley herbst is gonna go a lap down we are finally lapping at the top 10 what will happen is we kind of get a little loose there and we allow Riley Herbst to back up there. This thing is getting pretty loose. Tires are wearing three laps to go. Three more miles to decide if we win a championship. Two laps to go here at Phoenix Raceway for the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series championship ben rhodes is gonna go a lap down he is currently third in championship standings stuart friesen is second he's gonna finish second in the championship standings hopefully we don't get a caution maybe we can lap the whole entire field as well that'd be kind of cool we get up into the wall just a little bit there nothing too bad white flag is out this moment is what we have been waiting for right here we have been waiting for this moment for quite a long time we're gonna get between those two put them laps down yet again i can see stuart friesen we're not gonna be able to get to him we are not going to be able to lap the whole field coming off the front straightaway 
Corey Heim is going to be the 2023 NASCAR Craftsman Track Series champion. We finished first. Let's go burn this Toyota Tundra down. And we are going to burn this sucker down right here. Just like this, boys. Oh, it feels so good. This feels absolutely amazing. Corey Heim is a NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series champion. Let's freaking go, boys. Let's go. We are going to burn it down for the fans right over here. <laughs> Let's freaking go. So freaking happy. Corey Heim is your 2023 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series champion. Let's freaking go at that. Beautiful scenes. Beautiful, beautiful scenes out here in Victory Lane. For the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. Let's go. And Crafton had the fastest lap. I don't think that is... Um, I, I don't think that that is right. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Leave it up to NASCAR Heat 5. Austin Wayne self started 32nd, finished 12th. Tough break. Started 4th, finished 23rd is Johnny Sauter. There's no way that that's an actual lap time for Phoenix Raceway. There's absolutely no way that that is true. But you know what? It is what it is. Let's go ahead and look at these results here. We finished first in the championship. Stuart Friesen finishes second. Ben Rhodes finishes third. And all the way down here, two laps down, is Johnny Sauter in 23rd, finishing fourth in the champion chip man this feels good without further ado guys that's gonna be it for today's video don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe share with friends if you enjoyed if you're interested in getting a gaming computer please click the link in the description below this video apex gaming pcs absolutely fantastic computers and if you guys use code squad squad you guys can get 10 percent off of all products using code squad squad Again, that is code squad SQUAD for 10% off. Be sure to come out to Phoenix Raceway if you can. I mean, I know this is going out the day of the championship race, so probably not the best thing for me to say it right now. But I will be at the I Racing booth, the trailer, whatever they're bringing this year. Not sure exactly what they're going to be bringing out this year. But uh, I will be there up to an hour and a half before the race. Then you can find me on Corey Heim, the number 11 pit box for Tricon Garage. Peace out, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the 2023 NASCAR Xfinity Series Championship Race. Peace out. Yee. Yeah.